How to knit the cable for back. English style, left-handed. To download a guide with our five favorite tips to improve your knitting right now, visit newstitchaday.com slash five knit tips. For this tutorial, you'll need the following materials. A pair of knitting needles, a cable needle or double pointed needle, and a ball of yarn. A special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lion's Pride Wool Spun. Available exclusively at Michael's Craft Stores and LionBrand.com. In the color, taupe. The cable four back is a traditional cable stitch. It uses the abbreviation C4B, of course, which means cable four back. Now the four in the cable four back actually stands for the four stitches that the cable is worked over. It's not that you're going to be taking four stitches and then swapping it with four other stitches. Now, with most cables, or actually all cables, we are going to be making this stitch by swapping a group of stitches with another group of stitches. In this case, it's going to be these two stitches, which are swapped with these two stitches. And we'll be holding those two stitches behind our work as we make the stitch, which is going to create a right-leaning cable if you're right-handed, and if you're left-handed, it will be a left-leaning cable. So, let me show you how we do this. Step one, we're going to take our cable needle or a double-pointed needle, and we will slip the first two stitches off of our main needle onto the cable needle. For step two, we're going to hold the cable needle behind our work. That's the back part of the cable for back. Step three, we are going to knit the next two stitches off of our main needle. And for step four, we will knit the two stitches off of our cable needle. All right, so let me do that for you again one more time. We're just going to get these stitches situated back on our needle. So again, with step one, we will take our cable needle and we will slip the next two stitches off of our main needle. Step two, we will hold those two stitches behind our work. For step three, we will knit the next two stitches off of our main needle. And for step four, we will knit the next two stitches off of the cable needle. All right, and that's how we do a cable four back. Hey, I'm Johnny Vasquez, founder of New Stitch A Day and your teacher for this tutorial. I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to learn from us. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, we produce new content every single day. Hence, new stitch a day. You can click the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single stitch. And if you click one of the links to the side here, you can see the previous stitch in our series or the next stitch in our series. And if you click this link, you'll be able to see one of my favorites. And don't forget, you can also download a PDF with the written instructions for this tutorial by clicking or using the URL link that's on the screen. Again, I want to thank you so much for learning with us, and I hope that we've helped make your knitting and crochet skills a little bit better today. Yarn on!